For those of us who seek to undermine the religious consciousness or make it appear as insignificant, the higher consciousness is an emergence of the religious consciousness, which means the higher consciousness is dependent on the religious consciousness for its coming forth. Welcome to the other dimension with your host and psycho spiritual coach, Victoria Elizabeth Ann. The higher consciousness, you may wish to call it the crystal consciousness or the cosmic consciousness, it doesn't matter. The higher consciousness, although it emerges from the religious consciousness, does not resemble the religious consciousness in any way or form. In fact, we like to say it is out of phase with the religious consciousness. Hence, when both are operating on the same plane, there is destructive interference. Now, let me begin to outline for you the fundamental differences between the two states of consciousness. One cornerstone of the religious consciousness is separateness, and for good reasons. You see, at that vibrational frequency, the unit of energy, which we refer to as the authentic self, needs to feel separate from everything else if it is to assume self-responsibility and accountability. At the higher consciousness state, though, this fundamental concept is replaced by the concept of one and oneness. The oneness that the consciousness experiences allow the individual to spiritually connect with everything, oceans, wind, plants, planetary bodies, and other animals. It is a harmonious connection that nullifies conflicts and grievances. Another cornerstone of the religious consciousness is dependency 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 gives rise to vulnerability and fear but it allows the individual to conform to external rules and norms we like to say that religion instill fear to conform until you are transformed religion instills fear to conform until you are transformed the higher consciousness is a transformed individual and so dependency is replaced by autonomy the higher consciousness seeks autonomy in every aspect of their life they pursue freedom of choice regarding their health and well-being and they object to any form of coercion manipulation and brainwashing the higher consciousness is a critical thinker who is hell-bent on connecting the dots for themselves. They don't need anyone to tell them what to think. Give them the information or the facts and allow them to assemble it for themselves. Another fundamental concept of the religious consciousness is judgment. Judgment, along with separateness, allows the individual to assume self-responsibility and accountability. And it does so because it allows the individual to be highly critical of themselves. Judgment with its offshoot concept of right and wrong and good and evil propels the individual along the consciousness gradient. It allows the individual to constantly change thoughts and behavior and to aspire for a more mature way of living, which is a more mature life, which is a more mature way of moving. Remember, our definition for life is movement. And our definition for consciousness is the ability to alter movement. As you alter movement, you are creating because creation is about changing vibrational frequencies. Everything that is created has its own unique vibrational frequency. But judgment 
and separateness give rise to intolerance of others. There is lack of empathy and compassion and it leads to cancelling, censoring, conflicts, grievances and at the very fundamental level, many religious wars. The higher consciousness does not condone judgment. The higher consciousness is all about empathy and compassion. And it can embrace empathy and compassion because the cornerstone of sin, good and evil, right and wrong, and judgment is replaced by the growth concept. The growth concept recognizes that there are thought processes aligned to every state of consciousness and awareness. These thought processes determine how information is being processed by the individual. Since every state of consciousness and every degree within a given state interprets cosmic information differently, and since all we interpret information determines our belief. People's behavior is directly related to their state of consciousness and awareness. Since the dimensions of consciousness are as is set by divine design, we can say that people's behavior is as set by divine design. I know this is very hard for any one of you to swallow, but how else could it be? We cannot grow and remain the same, can we? The definition of growth suggests that something must change. When your belief system changes, your behavior changes. And since the belief system is not wrong, how can the manifestation of the belief be wrong? That is not according to the growth concepts, not at all. This is a bombshell, isn't it? So, you cannot remain the same and grow. And your behavior will only change when some thoughts of yours or belief of yours have changed. You must at least decide that you are going to do something differently. And that thought of wanting to do something different resides on a higher plane of consciousness. To attain that thought, you must reach for the thought, you must grow, you must expand. This does not suggest that you cannot regress. You can reassume your previous state. Do you see that like button just below this video? Click that like button. Help us get this information to as many persons as is possible. Some of you seem shocked and some have a blank stare. Others look confused. But one thing is certain, you all do realize that the two states of consciousness are out of phase with each other. Isn't that so? And you can also see the reason why as they interact, there is destructive interference. I would like to leave you with this important point. As the number of individuals possessing a higher consciousness increases, the world begins to experience instability. The instability continues to intensify until a critical mass of the higher consciousness is achieved. It is this critical mass that facilitates the creation of the other dimension of consciousness. Presently, the number of individuals possessing a higher consciousness has grown. Some aren't even aware 
that they are no longer religious by nature. They can't understand why others aren't seeing things the way they do. And this causes many to feel isolated. You can now see why it is important for us to prepare for a cosmic shift. Think Big Coaching Academy points humanity in the direction we all need to take. This direction has as its foundation a belief system that brings everything together as a cosmic whole. If you find that the present belief systems have become irrelevant to you, pick up your copies of The Revelation of the Eternal Realm and Beyond Religiosity. Step out, step up into a higher plane of consciousness and awareness that supports a more advanced and fulfilling human existence.